him. You know the fact that he's a businessman. He actually works. Yeah, of course, he works at Freddy Fazbear's. Who wouldn't even know by now? He's so infamous. <laughs> I, I do not want to even get involved the fact that Evan just said that. Yeah, because I said, a, I know that sounded like I said a good thing about him, but come on, he works at Freddy Fazbear's anyways. Yes, he, <laughs> Evan's father, the, literally, <laughs> literally, William's children, I, I mean, William literally has three children over here. Michael, Evan, Elizabeth, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, literally, do you see that? William works at Freddy Fazbear, he is even wearing a suit. I do not know what is up with me, keep saying everyone in this room is wearing a suit. Oh, I think I forgot about Muzan. My life, my life, look, literally, he also wears a suit, bro, literally, I know, right, like, all of these... We do not talk about William because he's not even a demon. Like, the majority of the demons in this room are all wearing suits. Because it just shows how... Except for Zalgo. Like, literally, bro doesn't even wear nothing. I'm sorry, look at this. Like, whenever people do draw Zalgo as a human, of course, they will make him wear clothes. But sometimes they... I do not know, bro. I just still do not know. Let's just type in Muzan. Just still... <laughs> yeah, bro. That's Wow, that's the first thing. <laughs> My life, you see this, he's wearing a suit. I can't. Yeah, because all of these people are, I don't know, businessmen or something. Bro, look at that. So, yeah. Okay, can we just search up his full body or something, bro? All right, there we go. Yeah, please show. What the? Okay, yeah, so yeah, that's what he looks like. See? My life! He Everyone in this room is just wearing a suit. Yeah, because. Look, I'll show you the proof. Okay, we just, let's go with Alistair right now. Yes, yeah, something about me now. <laughs> My, anyways, Alistair from... Uh, there we go. And Ilsta... <laughs> I... Okay. Now, nah, what are you doing? Why do you keep having so many tabs open? Cuz... Malik is the last one. Okay, Malik from... Yeah, bro! <laughs> I, I can't. I seriously can't. See? I told you, Paige. You got your proof. Even that psychopath woman just literally for real searched up all this up <laughs> what what is this everyone in this room is literally wearing suits the majority of yeah look at this wow this is all oh you know what should we actually do i think i haven't done this before <laughs> anyways look at this that is muzan he's wearing a suit that is alistair he is also wearing a suit and that is malak he's also wearing a suit bro a uh, william yeah, of course, he is not a demon, bro, shut up, he's not, because, of course, he does wear a suit, because he actually works at Freddy Fazbear's, okay, William Afton, um, I don't even know why I said it in the accent, yeah, you shouldn't, okay, okay, Evan, yeah, it just comes up with him, just, you know, how he looks like in the minigames, bro, I need to see what he looks like, for real, okay, that's just, um, how, yeah, William has a lot of these scars in his body, we do not talk, um, what, like, what, model? Oh my, yeah, guys. My life, my life, okay. Well, yeah, bro, can you shut up? Why are you acting like he's your favorite? Did I ever say he is? Okay. So as I see, yeah, look at this, even, <laughs> bro, what even is this? Everyone is, yeah, look at this, Muzan, like, all, some of the Demon Slayer characters, like, you know, Zenitsu, Inosuke, all of the Demon Slayer characters, they're even Muzan. He's over there. First of all, Muzan is... Yeah, actually, I don't know why, but, like, I kind of like his suit. But it doesn't mean I like him. Ew. <laughs> My life! Nah, can't... I'm sorry, get me out of here. <laughs> Alistair keeps laughing. He keeps giggling. Every single time she... <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay, look at this. Muzan Kibusuji. He's wearing a suit. <laughs> Alistair, he's also wearing a suit. Malak is also wearing a suit. William... <laughs> But yeah, William is not, a, like, he's not a demon, so we do not talk about him, but like, still, he's also wearing a suit. We do not talk about Zalgo, bro, I'm sorry. Oh, actually, was I about to search up Zalgo? Yeah, I was, okay. Nah, I'll show you, bro. I'm gonna type in human Zalgo, and it'll come up with what he looks like, bro. And my lo- my life! My life! See? I told you, literally, literally, some of them actually for real draw Zalgo as a human, and he's also wearing a suit. Alright, yeah, I'm talking about this one. This one does not include him wearing anything. It's just, wow, Lazari. Okay, okay, well, anyways, okay, girls, okay, let's actually for real just take, oh my god, I have so many tabs open right now, bro. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I can't. I seriously can't in a situation. Yeah, good for, good thing for Chucky because he never wears a suit. My life. Yeah, of course he doesn't, bro. He just wears the child's play. You know how children wear those, um, things or something that's what chucky wears bro <laughs> no one cares okay I don't, yeah i do not know why annabelle is looking at me like that my life annabelle is that haunted doll 
Yeah. <laughs> now, believe or not, there is for real Annabelle. Annabelle is a doll that's in the museum. <laughs> I, I, I for real think I'm gonna get haunted. Bro, I'm living in this house with a psychopath. You and me, Paige. You're my only relative right now. We are siblings, Paige. Yeah, I think she already knows that. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that literally you... Uh, for real. We've been living with that psychopath woman for ages. For years almost. I don't know. I don't know. Are, am I... For, are, am I... Uh, am I and you, Paige, are we both gonna be haunted or what? Because she is now talking about Annabelle. Yeah, Annabelle, bro, look at this. Literally, Annabelle is real. And, like, there's a doll about her on a museum. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's, a, like, so... There's, like, probably three or two movies about the Annabelle home, come home, or whatever. Look, I watched it, bro. It was amazing, but... That Annabelle is way creepier. And, like, you know in the movies, that Annabelle is way creepier than how she actually looks like in the museum. She just looks like a plush doll. I'll show you, bro. My life. <laughs> Anyways, um... Who is this Annabelle? Okay, look, Alistair, uh... <laughs> wow, it's just a doll? Okay, look, Alistair, this is, uh... <laughs> yeah, so basically, that's a doll, yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, this is a haunted doll, guys, but... Is that a demon? Okay, look, uh, Alistair, I... Yeah, believe it or not, maybe the thing... I am gonna type in museum. Oh, my... My life! My... Anyways, yeah, this is real. Annabelle is real. I... Anyways, not in the movie she's not, but real life in the museum, she is. That doll is haunted. That... I feel like a soul, I feel like a child's soul or any spirit within it that, that's actually haunting the doll. <sighs> Alright, but like, like the way they made Annabelle in the movie is okay. That's actually real plastic, while the real one, the real one that's in the museum is actually a plush. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, now nah, I've seen a TikTok where... <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's not even talk about TikTok. I do not even want to go uh, too deep with this, but Annabelle doll. Wikipedia? Okay, I do not care about Wikipedia. Where is the... Yeah, Annabelle Comes Home. Yeah, that's the movie's name I was talking about. But, like, still, bro, this... That doll is haunted, for real. I want to see a... <laughs> my life, my... Wait, so that doll is haunted by a demon, perhaps? Okay. Look, Alistair, I... I... I, I do not know, okay? I Nah, for real, let's do some researching. I want to see people, like, of course, no one will, no, no one can actually for real open that glass door. My, my life, what are you talking about? Look, I'm talking about the, like, the door, <laughs> like, the door thing that the real Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, I'm going to say the real An Annabelle is trapped inside of that glass door or whatever. I'll show you, bro. I'll... Yeah, we do not talk about Chucky because Chucky is not real. My life! Yeah, he is not real. There is nothing about him that's real. He's just a movie. <laughs> I don't know why Tiffany's... Bro, stop looking at me. Everyone's looking at me. You know, I feel uncomfortable. Yes! <laughs> My life! Okay, look, I just said I feel uncomfortable whenever... I don't mind the creepypasta life my life look i don't care if any of the creepypastas are staring at me but like chucky and his doll family or whatever has been staring at me ever since bro can you stop okay let's actually for real type in annabelle over here um Anna and elsa no 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 okay there we go there um and uh museum my life hey <laughs> look i don't know nothing Nah, people okay where is this i feel like literally going to this and taking a selfie next to her <laughs> my life okay literally for real imagine taking a selfie next to the real annabelle doll guys wait there's like people actually going unlocking the real annabelle in most haunted place on earth yeah where is this place i wanna wow this is what i mean <laughs> my life the way he just said wow what is it i'm just saying this this is why i find her interesting because she's not scared of any of these things like that doll doesn't even look creepy at all but she said it's haunted so <laughs> I don't know why everyone's being so quiet. All right, um, look, nah, man. Annabelle inside the Warren Museum. <laughs> yeah, so, like, bro, nah, you know how in the... My life. Okay, you know how... Bro, I'm talking about the movie. You know how in the movie, Annabelle actually for real moves. Like, the, the plastic doll actually moves her head around, trying to get out of the glass thing. Is it called... What is it called? Warren... No, that's just the- is it that the museum's name? I do not know. Like, the- the glass door, you know? She keeps banging her head, trying to get out of the thing, but she can't, bro. So sad. 
Nah, you were just literally making fun of it. Look, so what if I am, bro? Shut up. Okay, I, I mean, I do care about my girly Annabelle, but, like, just saying she's haunted, so... <laughs> like, I'm just saying, this one does not move. Like, this, the real one, the real Annabelle doll in the museum, I've never seen this... <laughs> I've never seen this plush doll ever move. Like, this is actually real, made with actual cushions, like, actual real material of, like, plushies. But the, the one in the movie is actually plastic, bro. And that, and that Annabelle is way bigger than Chucky. <laughs> nah, nah, there's no way. Look, Chucky is the size of a little toddler doll. I am just saying, I'm not making fun of him. He looks like a midget compared to Annabelle in the movies. <laughs> I, I have nothing in my life. And well, you look like... Okay, so Annabelle's like pretty tall. Like, I saw some people actually like in the movies holding her as in like just, you know, holding her as, like, a normal doll, you know? She's, like, half the size as humans, but, like, kind of big. Like, I've never seen any dolls in my whole life that's that big as Annabelle in the movies. But this one, I do not know. The one in the museum, I do not know how big this is, bro. Like, literally. Wow, everyone's taking photos there. I want to feel like going there. Okay, where is this place? Is this a museum or something? It looks like a... Nah, this for real looks like a garage. Like, you know how in garage or... I'm not garage. I mean, you know how in basements? My life, anyways. Uh, just saying. Yeah, bro, I want to see this literal museum Annabelle literally move her head around like how the one did in the movie. All right. <laughs> like, literally, I'm just saying, do you see the comparison between Chucky and Annabelle? Annabelle is, like, way taller than Chucky, just saying. I don't know why uh, Tiffany... Yeah, bro, shut up. Anyways. <laughs> I know they're not talking, I don't know why I just tell them to shut up. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about church stuff. Okay. Nah, I want to go there so bad. I want to take a selfie. Okay, I'm just joking. Sorry, don't, don't take it. Um, is she ever moving the glass or what? Alright. So that's just about it. Oh my god, 14k likes. Okay. God protect the people watching this. Bro. <laughs> bro's trying to say in the comments that I will be haunted My Nah bro, what is this? Look at this in the top comment It's made by Billion Eric's I don't know how to say the name Look at this, God protect the people watching this <laughs> Bro, nah, bro, am I gonna get haunted or what? Just watching this video Look at this, God protect the people watching this 13 replies no, what I don't know. What is so haunting? Like I saw a TikTok of an edit of Annabelle on TikTok, bro. Like, they're talking about the museum one, not the real one in the movie. You know, the movie one is not even real, but the one that's in the museum is real. Um. I don't know, bro, I remember watching the Annabelle Comes Home or something with my auntie in, like, a different country in Bangladesh. I remember that. That was so amazing. Like, my auntie actually said, don't watch these too much of horror stuff, you know? <laughs> I remember all those olden days. Ooh, you like horror? My life! My- Anyways! Bro, can you- Literally, just let Alistair talk. Literally, literally, I love demons. But I think Annabelle- Okay, now, what is this? A lot of people are being too- overprotective over this like look at this god protected the people watching this what's so haunting about annabelle i'm sorry the fact i'm sorry for real if you for real get haunted if you for real get cursed i am gonna nah page you're with me right because she just watched this video and that p someone in the comments just said that to this whoever's reading the comment bro i can't if if she does turn haunted or if something happens to her we're out of this place. We are gonna go into a different house and live there. I can't. Look. Nah, actually, for real. I saw... Did I actually heard that? Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna go on TikTok. Nah, man. Okay, I'm gonna go out here. Um, What the... Nah, what is this? What? Okay, you don't know. My for you page is really weird. Who is this? Sarah Payne? Wait, Sarah Payne? Is that a girl? Nah, you know what? I don't know what is TikTok giving me right now. Is that real? That's just a girl, a real girl, and that's a statue. You know, I do not know what's going on. Let's for real just type in Annabelle. Let's see. I want to see that. Like, people in the comments were just saying, I, I don't know. I just still don't. What the? Okay. Nah. Oh my. God. You know what? That's so sad. That is so scary. Oh, what is so haunted about her, anyways? Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't, this video is nothing about Toby's birthday. Look, I'm trying my best, okay? And what, they took out the animals, oh, let's see, bro. What will happen? Nah. 
Nah, a guy. I'm not sure if something bad is gonna happen to that guy who's literally holding her up. Nah. <laughs> I do not. Oh my god. So what happened? It Look, uh, guys, I do not even research anything about the real Annabelle Museum doll or something. What is so haunting about her? Like, people in the comments are being too dramatic, saying that God may protect this. I don't know. They keep saying something. Look, bro, that is not Annabelle. That's... Okay. Well, anyways, that's amazing. I'm just gonna go down. Um, Making sure all my windows are locked before I break up with my boyfriend again. Look, that's nothing about Annabelle. Oh, my... Okay. Yeah, so what happened after he took out her? Okay. Well, yeah, so this is a real thing. Uh, it's a real haunted doll or something. I don't know. You don't know. I know, bro. Sh what happened? They just literally put her into a different... I don't know. Like, it just looks like... Nah, man. I'm sorry. The one in the museum of Annabelle, that actually for real looks like... <laughs> what are you saying? Look, like the Annabelle in the museum, that looks like an innocent doll, right? But like, what is so cursed about her? I'm just saying, why is everyone in the comments keep saying, everyone is replying in the comments with capital letters? Like, I do not know how is she so haunted, bro. Okay. Well, they just put her into that um, different one of thing. What happened? Okay, and people are saying, like, church stuff. So I do not know. Where is the one that I've seen before, bro? I Okay, that's the movie one. No, we're, we're not talking about the movie one. Um, okay, you know, I have no clue what... I am just gonna... Uh, I do not know. I'm just gonna type in the one. I do not know. I need content, so I'm gonna do something else. I can, Because, like, I do creepypasta videos a lot. Well, okay. Um, yeah, it's a haunted, guys. Okay, um, what the... That's not... Okay, that looks nothing like the one in the museum. Okay, Annabelle doll. Annabelle is an elderly, haunted, rigidly and doll housed in the new closed, awkward. Yes, yeah, so like, what is up? Nah, background according to the warrants. What, what's a warrants? My, I do not know. Okay, look, I'm really dumb at words. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, um, the fact you're not even. Okay, well. Yeah, the fact that, what are you worried, what are you gonna say about me? I'm just saying, the fact that you're not even finishing watching Williams, because I do not like William, bro, literally, shut up, okay. A student nurse was given the doll in 1970. They said that the doll behaved strangely. <laughs> well, that's just haunted, that is literally a soul possessing the doll. Alright, and that a psychic medium told the student that the doll was inhabited by the spirit of a diseased girl named Annabelle. What is that? That- Okay! Okay! I still do not know, guys. The student and her roommate turned- tried to accept the nature- nurture and the spirit-possessed doll, but the doll reported exhibited a mer miraculous- I don't know- and frightening behavior. It was at this point that the warrants say I'm not sure if even so if I'm saying that right or not, sorry. Say they were first connected, no, contented, okay? Moving the door, like, this doll never moves, that's what I'm saying. The one that moves in the movie, that moves, but this doesn't move, and everyone is so scared of it. <laughs> this is what I mean, she's not even scared of nothing. My life, my, any, look, I am not scared of this doll, bro, I never even seen anything like this, for real, in my real time, guys. Like, in real life, okay? Um... Like, what is so scary about that? It looks like a literal innocent doll. <laughs> I, my life, look at that. Chucky's staring at you now. Look, I do I give a... Anyways, um, and Warren say they were first... Okay, right there. Um, the... Oh, my... Oh, my God. Okay, what is this? Moving the doll to their museum after pronouncing it demonically possessed. Oh. So, it's a spirit of a diseased girl named Annabelle. That's so cool. You think, nah, no way you just said that's cool. So, okay, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, sorry if that sounded offended. I did not mean to say I'm sorry. Uh, the doll remained in a glass box. Oh, so it's called a glass box, okay. Because I do not know what to say that. <laughs> glass box at the Warrens, a cold museum in Morin. Okay, I do not know what where that is. I still want to go there and just, I don't know, just, I don't know, just take photos, I guess. What will you do when you go there? That I will just take photos, I don't know. Okay, um... Until the museum's closure over zoning violence, no, violations, okay, um, yeah, so basically it's demonically, demonically, 
So that is... Okay, yeah, Alistair, you can say that is demonically possessed. Okay. Well, yeah, enough with Annabelle this time. Uh, yeah, that, that's the movie one. Okay, um, so now what? We... Nah. Nah, what the fr- Nah! Okay, I just don't know. I was scrolling down until I just saw a girl. <laughs> nah, don't tell me that's like... What the freak? I just saw... Nah. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. You, what is this? Okay, I do not know. I just don't know. Annabelle first appeared. No, no, um, okay. Oh, that's okay. Not cause. Okay, just from far ahead, it looks like a real dead girl from far ahead. I'm sorry. All right. Um, but like, yeah, as you can see, wow, amazing. Um, I don't know. I just say everything amazing because I'm just complimenting it. You know, I know that's possessed demonically. Is it true that the Annabelle doll escaped? What the f- Okay, Akura. That's also something. Um, you know, I don't even- Should we talk about Bloody Mary? My life! Okay, okay, sh can you shut up? Look, I do not know why I'm starting to talk about this haunted stuff. Um, okay, okay, enough with Annabelle. <laughs> I'm never gonna search up Chucky because I hate Chucky, I'm just saying. No, like, not Chucky Cheese. I just hate Chucky the doll killer or whatever you want to call it, like, literally. I'm gonna go- Let's search up, because, nah, believe it or not, I, like, have history lessons, like, a long time ago, in some of my history lessons, um, I learned that, you know, Mary, my life, okay, look, Mary, that, that's my, um, girlfriend's, my life, okay, look, okay, oh, Jane, you're talking about Mary, um, your, you know, yeah, yes, yes, I, I'm gonna say yes, that is my girlfriend's name, my life, yes, so that is true, you know, dude, bro, do you know the fact that Jane is actually, and the Google is that the Jane is actually for real married to Mary, but in my AU, they're still teenagers, so they're just girlfriends, they're not the age to, like, you know, <laughs> my life, my life, literal lesbians. Bro, can you shut up? Okay, but like, as I was saying, you know, Mary, the Queen of England, Mary, you know, Bloody Mary, my life! Okay, bro, you not believe or not, in my, uh, a long time ago in my history lessons, we for real were learning about Bloody Mary. Do you see? I got shiver me timbers. Nothing happened to me, but like, I was just so speechless. I was so surprised that in a history lesson, they're talking about Bloody Mary. Okay, but like, no, Bloody Mary is not actually a doll or anything like Annabelle. My life! Okay. Yeah, Bloody Mary. Um, ghost? Nah. Nah. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, guys. Yeah, many people do this when they go in the bathroom. Nah, believe or I think I should have said this in my last video, um, because, like, ever since I was, like, in primary, I was, like, and now you're again telling stories. Look, I'm not telling stories, it's real. <laughs> nah, nah, look, okay, it is real, but, like, no, imagine if I were for real. Actually, encountered Bloody Mary, but not really. My life. Look, look, okay, so basically, ever since I was in primary, I was, like, in this big hall of just, a I was just in a big hall, okay, I cannot remember, but, like, there's this girl named Ava, um, so she actually was, she was about, um, she was, used to be my friend in primary, I mean, she is still in that same high school as me, but, like, we don't actually talk that much, she just says, hi, Irma, to me, and I just say uh, hi back to her, you know, but, like, Ava, for real, said that she's gonna go, no, she just told the teachers that she needs to go to the bathroom, but then I feel like she told me that she's going to the bathroom to, like, summon Bloody Mary, my life, oh, okay, um, let me just see, now, believe or not, p many people, what, nah, okay, wait, what is this, okay, is that a, okay, you know what, that's just the thing, you know what, I'm just about to put it in somewhere else, there we go, <laughs> nah, nah, no, actually, if you search up Bloody Mary on YouTube, um, you would actually see some people actually trying out the thing, nah, my life, I can't. I'm, I, I actually can't in the situation. The fact, first of all, everything was just about demons. And now everything is just about haunted stuff. Just like that Annabelle doll from the museum. And now Bloody Mary. My life can never go worse. And the fact, you just actually made um, Jane so quiet over there. Uh, I, I did not. I did not. I just, I'm just talking about a Bloody Mary. I'm not talking about her girlfriend or something. Oh, wow, Jane. Okay, you know, okay, that, that that came from Jeff, that did not come from any of the others. Okay, you know what, people do this when they actually go for, for real, go in the bathrooms. And, um, they have, like, these candles surrounded by the mirror. They actually take their ca cameras with them and record in the bathroom saying her name. Saying Bloody Mary three times until she cut. My, my life, do you believe? I'm sorry, do you for real believe in her? No, I don't. Because, like, many people do this to actually get views. Like, they do these things 
Like, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, someone outside the bathroom who actually knocks on the doors. Nah, believe or not, I do not believe that she's real, bro. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't in a situation. First, look, I believe in the Annabelle one and the museum doll. It just said that it's a demonically possessed. So, it's a diseased girl named Annabelle. That's the girl that's possessing the doll in the museum, bro. I believe in that, but... Still, I don't know, Annabelle, I I'm gonna say Bloody Mary is just a myth, right? She cannot be real. But like, now, nah, believe it or not, I saw, you know, um, I just wanna have fun. I just wanna have fun as like an animator of creepypastas. They for real drew my life, my life. Okay, I do not remember, but like, I don't know if there's like their style of Annabelle and what. No, Annabelle, I mean, uh, why do we keep, like, I've been talking about her forever. I'm gonna say Bloody Mary, okay? Um, what is, <laughs> okay. Wow, 14. Okay, that's a lot of um results for right now. Okay. Uh, Bloody Mary, folklore. Bloody Mary is a legend of a ghost, phantom, or spirit conjured to reveal the future. No, she can't. My life! Okay, I don't know if she can do that. I just thought she is just a ghost coming at people's mirrors and just... Okay, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, don't take it seriously, but like, there's these Roblox games where people for real make a game about Bloody Mary if you go onto a mirror. And like, you know in Roblox you just have to type in Bloody Mary like three times? Some people do that, and yeah, that's just a game, bro. Roblox is just a game, it's not real, that's just the developers making it real. <laughs> First time you're actually speaking the truth. I know, right? I'm so smart. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, yes, you are, my dear. I think I was supposed to say that. Okay, okay, you know what? That one actually came from Malak, and then uh, I was just said it. Over. Okay, what is this? She is said to appear in a mirror when her name is chanted repeatedly. Well, it's actually meant to be three times. Not only like, okay. Well, well. Yeah, um, repeatedly, the Bloody Mary, a priori, I don't know how to say that, maybe begun, be, I don't know how to say that, or malvoilent. Bro, what does this word mean? I thought it actually uses for males, not females, but alright. Um, depending on historic uh, variations of uh, the legend. So it's like a, basically like an urban legend, like Slenderman, but like still, bro, my life. Okay, well, I'm just saying Slenderman is real to me, okay? Everyone out there in the internet keeps saying they've seen Slenderman, so like, my life. Okay, listen, Slendy is way better than <laughs> that guy named Zalgo, just saying. William has been quiet ever since, also moves on. Literally, bro, shut up. No one cares about your trash characters, just saying. All right, Melvoilin, um, over here, um, having or showing a wish to do evil to others. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Because I searched up and nothing said that um, Alistair didn't say the word malvoilent in it. So Alistair, of course, he is evil. He's a demon, guys. But he doesn't do evil things to others. He's actually a nice guy. I've seen the series with my friend today. It was amazing. Malevolent. No, wait, but how do you say it? Malevolent. Malve <laughs> I can't ever. It almost sounds like Maleficent. Ma my life! Okay, Maleficent. Wait, isn't that like the... Yeah, that's from The Sleeping Beauty, right? That's Maleficent. The, 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 the evil witch that causes... um What is it? A princess Aurora to fall asleep forever. And then a prince is gonna come and kiss her back to alive. My life! Look, I know everything about the stories, bro. I mean, the, the fairy tales. Yeah. I can't. I can't, bro just said Maleficent. Look, this, the word, I thought it just uh, pronounces like malvoilent, but it doesn't. Malevolent. Malevolent. I can't, I, look, I, I'm having trouble saying this word. How do you say it? Malevolent. Malevolent. Okay, no, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna say malvoilent if that's my life. Okay, I do not know. It almost sounds like Maleficent from The Sleeping Beauty, bro. Okay, depending on historic uh, variations. Okay, right there. But like, yeah, guys, so people do this for real. I'm not joking. People on YouTube make um, videos about them just going into their bathroom with their camera, closing the door, lighting up so many candles and saying her name three times. And what? Nah, what happens? And then I do not know if people do this for views, but something happens. Their lights flicker and there's like sound coming off the door. Bro, I remember watching those videos on YouTube, but I do not know if that's real or fake. People might be doing it for views, who knows, because I do not trust people. <laughs> Bloody Mary is just a legend. He, she's not real. I do not believe in her. I just believe in the... Yes, I just believe in Annabelle as in, like, the museum one, bro. Okay, let's do some... My life! Okay, I am just gonna watch a person doing their thing right now, bro. Um, 
hopefully my videos won't actually get um copyrighted. Look, I do creepy pastas forever. Yes, you do. <laughs> what the? I do not know who said that. Okay, no, that that actually came from Malik. Okay, that did not come from Alistair. Okay, no, that Ben talked. Okay, for real. Let's do some experiment. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna type in um, what what do I do? Um, Bloody Mary. My life. Okay. Um, cause this is for for real. You can actually for real um thing uh summon her on my life. My life! Okay, no, nah, this is a song made by Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary is beautiful. I heard the song over and over again. Wow, okay. The fact, I just searched a bloody painter and all of them are just Lady Gaga's song. Okay, no, I do not mean... Nah. Oh my... <laughs> That's the most creepiest thumbnail I, I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, what is this? 11 Bloody Mary challenges. Oh, it's a challenge. Okay, that mysteriously worked. That's not... They could be, yeah, so basically that's fake, that has to be fake, because people can actually just cosplay to be like her, or people can just edit their videos, right? I do not believe in her. My life, anyways. Okay. So I, nah, man. Okay, that's too loud, sorry. You're not gonna finish watching William talk. Okay, bro, where is he? What? Look at, okay, where is he for real? Let's for real see what this guy has to say for himself. Um. I will make you suffer, suffer like so many of the others. Yeah, bro, he's talking about the missing children again. You're roasting him again. So like what? I am here to claim what is left of you. <laughs> My dear old father sounds like a witch. Okay, okay, Evan, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> I can't, the fact you even agreed with him. Yeah, cuz he is actually speaking facts, okay? Cuz I believe in Evan. I, I don't, I, I believe in Evan as in like he's my favorite Afton, bro. Okay, shut up. Literally, whatever, whatever Evan says, I agree with him. Now shut up. I am here to claim what is left of you. Suffer now, like all who have stood before me. <laughs> wow, see, all of these villains literally laugh at the end, showing the how evil they are. Yes, but I am. What did you just say? Okay, okay! Well, anyways, Malak has spoken, and then Alistair, okay, what, what is this? I thought they were gonna actually get along, because the fact both of them are demons. We do not talk about Zalgo or Muzan. William, <laughs> he's not even a demon, so... <laughs> Bro, is that literally his laughter sounds so cringe? I'm sorry, after all of those other demonic laughters I heard, those are way better than William's. You will fear me. Yep. My life! Okay, the fact whenever I finish my sentence, he just said, You will fear me. Bro, no one will fear you. And now you are mine. <sighs> It is okay, what is this? Like, why do all of these villains always growl? Like, okay, I just looked at Malax. His one is actually cool. Like, literally, look for William's voice. I mean, he's actually... No, because of FNAF. You know on FNAF, you, those animatronics, he actually got spring-locked for real. So now he's actually... Oh, this is him at Springtrap. I'm acting so dumb. So this is how he will sound when he's actually in the spring traps. Like, literally, that's how he died. My life! Anyways! It is not your flesh that sustains me. It is your fear. Your time is... Yeah, now believe it or not, I feel like... Okay, so basically, no, William's voice isn't that bad. But like, his voice is more calming and relaxing, just like Malak's. But bro, when you realize who's talking, it's William Afton. The guy did... The guy who literally killed those innocent children. So I do not believe... Okay, I'm just saying, I do not like William. It's up. And also Muzan, bro, I just searched up Muzan's voice. Nothing came up, bro. All of them were just... Probably, I don't know, one was actually when his voice was just covered by Michael Jackson, okay. I'm back. You're yeah, see, basically, this guy always says, I always come back. Yeah, we know, we know. <sighs> yeah, father, we know. Okay, okay, Evan, all right, literally, that's true, literally, <laughs> father-son moment. Nah, nah, that, nah, there's no way! How do you call that a father-son moment? Literally, you know how people actually for real on the social media keep saying father-son moment as in like William and Michael? Yeah, bro, everyone forgets about me, I do not know why. Everyone makes me a little crybaby. <laughs> my life, my life, I can't! Look, it is true, in the past I used to cry a lot and all of 
Michael's stupid friends used to call me a crybaby. Literally, the past was the past. I am a grown man now. I'm literally four. No, actually, I'm 15, right? Yeah, I'm 15 years old. Don't know why my baby sister Elizabeth's looking at me, bro. I do not care. I am myself. Cassidy is like my only friend that I can trust. But I thought we were more than. Okay. My life, I can't. I can't. Literally, what did she. What was she about to say? Bro, I don't know. I think she actually for real likes me. <laughs> but I do not like her back. I swear I do not. <laughs> Literally, Cassidy, whenever I do possess Golden Freddy with her, she keeps. Won she won't stop saying that. But we're more than friends. What? What did you just say? Evan, what did you just say about me? I'm just saying, Cassidy, you are not yourself anymore. Other times, you were like, you're a boss. You were, you were a great leader. Way than Charlie. Look, I, I like Charlie. She's my favorite. Not, unless, not that Charlie Morningstar or something. Charlie Emily. She is the girl who possesses the puppetry. Yes. I do know that Charlie is the leader of all of you um, guys or something. I, I mean, all of you um, kids. Did you just... Yeah, because I am literally 15. I'm way older than all of you. Cassidy, you're like 13 in the situation. The same age. Wait, didn't you say you... Yes, Evan, I am... In real life, I'm 13. By my AU form, I'm like 15 to 16. She... She's the same age as me. Do you hear this right now, Cassidy? It's so sad that you all died at such a young age. What? What are you even saying right now, Evan? Look, I do not know. I'm just saying you won't stop saying that you we are more than friends. What do you mean, uh, bro? I do not like you. Okay, okay, please, everyone, please calm down. Now, believe it or not, there are people who actually for real ship Evan and Cassidy. That's I mean, it's a good ship because both of them are children. But like in my AU, Cassidy is 13, like the same age I am right now in real life. But Evan is like 15. She. I mean, he died at a 15 age, okay, so... No, he turned 15 after he died. So, yeah, basically, yeah, Cassidy, you know the age difference right now? <laughs> My life, everyone in this room keep having beef with each other, I can't. Okay, anyways, let's... For, look, I am gonna finish watching this old hags thing. But then, I mean, first of all, we're gonna finish watching this voice of William. Then let's see what, what we can do. We'll consume you. <sighs> Bro, keep sighing forever. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Get me out of this room right now. Every single time, whenever William does something, whenever he breathes, whenever he talks, whenever he laughs, this psychopath woman will always object my life. Anyways, can you literally be quiet? Okay, well, exactly, yeah, exactly. Listen to whatever Alistair's saying, bro. Literally, shut up. Anyways. It is not your flesh that sustains me. It is your fear. Got you. <laughs> nah, nah, I swear. I swear for my whole life I did never hear William say any of this. Is this a joke? Will it Oh, every William Afton voice line in FNAF. Bro, I never heard like I heard mo the majority of them off of TikTok or anything, you know? My life. And then and some of these I do not even know what he's talking about, bro. Uh, hide if you want. It did not save the others. It will not save you. I will make you suffer. Yeah, suffer. literally, bro, what is the meaning of this? Why do you want little children to suffer? My life, anyways! Suffer like so many of the others. Suffer now, like all who have stood before me. Your fear will consume you. Yeah, right. And now, My life, shut up. Mine. Okay. Nah. Nah. Yeah, nah, nah, we do not talk about that. That's glitch trap, bro. I mean, all of these are just names, but these are all controlled by William Afton. That, yeah, my dear old father. Okay, okay, Evan, okay. The fact, literally every of these fandoms have family. What did you, nah, what did you just say, Paxton? I'm just saying, all of these different fandoms, you see, look at that. Um, Malak, his adoptive daughter is Agatha. Look at that, Lozari? Is never looking okay. The fact that her father has been getting rejected by Irma. You see, everyone in this room literally has family. Looking for Chucky and his doll family. Chucky, Tiffany, and then their child, bro. Everyone in this room. And then William Afton. And then his three children. <laughs> Elizabeth is never looking okay. I'm not talking the one with the wheelchair. I'm talking the one with ginger hair. My life. No, oh, basically her hair is like a mixture of ginger and blonde. 
for my life. Look, that is just how I made them in my design. Can you stop saying your life all the time? Shut up. Okay. Literally, what? When I first found you, you were nothing. Bro, I, I'm sorry, that's that's burn trap, nah. And you were telling me, oh no, maybe he does, I don't know. Oh, he does, he does, okay, in the games he does talk, and uh, like, burn trap. Oh, pathetic. But now, you want more? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> nah, there's no way this guy laughed, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say, I'm being sarcastic, guys. I'm not actually for real being for real. <laughs> Yeah, this is no way an actual thing. I never heard, like, I, no. Actually, I don't actually, bro, shut up. Okay, now I said this, I accidentally clicked on it. Um, I've never, I mean, I did see some YouTubers play. Um, I just watched them play Security Breach, but there's no way. Burn Trap, uh, Burn Trap, aka William Afton Talks, nah, man. All right. Bro, we get it, you're so hilarious. <laughs> What is what is wrong with bro? Is he laughing or is he actually for real choking? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I have a job for you. Piece of cake, really. This place has been <laughs> shut down for years. Nah, nah, no way. Is nah. Okay, you know what? I feel like that's actually spoilers for me because I have not watched. I did not. I didn't even watch the FNAF movie, but I wish I could. Cause like my friend. <laughs> What? Look, because my friend Corey, not Molly, because my friend Corey actually said that he is going to take me in his house and we are going to actually for real watch the FNAF movie. Bro my life! Okay, look, for real, this is my first time ever being in a friend's house. It, it was amazing, okay? But then, for real, I'm going to call, I'm going to tell Corey that I, because he, for real, I did not say it. He said that he's going to take me in his house and we're going to watch the FNAF movie. Oh my god, it's, it will take me like probably a day to finish the FNAF movie. I just want to have the opportunity to just watch the FNAF movie. It's just going to be amazing, guys. Because, bro, imagine... I, okay, that's actually William Afton in the movies. Like, you know, it's um, portrayed by Matthew Lillard. Yeah, that's the, uh, the actor that plays as William in the movies. Security gig. The security guard. You want the job or not? Nah, man, you know what? This is encouraging me more because I think these are spoilers for me because I did not watch the FNAF movie. That's all you have to do is keep your eyes on the monitor. Piece of cake. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. They're yeah, bro, shut up. No one cares about you literally murdering kids. <laughs> My life! Anyways! Owner's just not ready to let it go yet. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's... I like how they actually... Welcome back. Okay, no, my, okay, I like how they actually for real added the voice lines of William from the movies. This is amazing. But still, William is a little... I'm not gonna say it, but he is not okay in the head. Yeah, father. Okay, okay, Evan, cool, cool. I am just gonna... Okay, why do I still have... Bro, I'm, I do not want Annabelle in over here. Um, oh, this is made by Chills. Nah, nah, believe... What? What? Look, okay, the bro, shut up. No, they will remember about the... <laughs> Now, what are you saying? What are you talking about? Remember? Uh, okay, this is actually, um, you know how Jeff has been... <laughs> you have your point, don't you, Ben? Okay, look, Jeff, g guys, please don't have an argument. I'm just saying, you know how that Jeff has been such a popular creepypasta ever since? I do not even know when his creepypasta got published on the internet or anywhere in the social media, bro. But there's this video, remember, about <laughs> the funny video that... <laughs> Uh -huh. I, I I can't. I seriously can't. Look, okay, I, I don't know who was actually made by bro, shut up. Okay, let's just type in Jeff the Killer. It, I'm pretty sure I'll come up with him. Um Okay, no, actually I'm gonna type in Jeff the Killer because I remember watching this very funny video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna type in that and it should come up. Um there we go. And we're just gonna have to wait and okay, not that, not that. Um Okay, it's like a funny... <laughs> my life! Okay, it's like a funny version of it. Um, Okay, bro, where is it? Uh, oh, look, Ben is... My, no, okay, that's the Majora's Mask, bro, shut up. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, I knew... Okay, bro, I'm being for real. Where is that video? Okay, um... No, let's for real just type in... Um, Let's for real just type in... <laughs> um, Animated um noises? <laughs> no. Um... 
what was that shit called? Funny. Yeah, I should just type in funny. I do not know, but, um, my life. Okay. Okay, is this video remember? This was my four year. In my life, my life is not meant to be Randy. Look, okay. <laughs> Well, well, well. Okay, okay, we get it. So basically, I'm not gonna react to this again, but believe or not, the voices. Look at bro, bro. I'm sorry, but like, you know the the the, the voice for Jeff on here. My <laughs> what? Look, okay, you know chills. You know the guy that we just looked at from the um. Yeah, look at this chills. Eleven bloody pay a bloody Mary challenges that mysteriously worked. You see that guy? That guy is yeah, he's verified. Okay, so yeah, is it the. Oh, verified. I thought he's an official artist channel. Okay, so basically, that's Chills. And you know, for Jeff's voice on here, it is actually Chills' voice. Nah, man. Look at the views and look at the... Oh, this was posted in 2019. Oh, that was actually four years ago, I think. I don't know. My life. And this actually has a lot of likes. 201k likes. Well, it looks like we got some new meat. Suddenly, two other kids appear. Okay, uh, nah, that, that, that's just the narrator, okay? One was super skinny, and the other was huge. <laughs> nah, believe or not, I am just gonna see- Okay, okay, I will just see the part where Jeff actually talks, cause like, you know that Chills guy, he actually voiced Jeff on here, so. Like he hasn't exercised since he was crawling. Zing. And I... Said the- My life, my life, this has to be a joke! See, I told you bro- My- Did you just- Okay, I- I said, I told you that Jeff, okay, I'm acting very weird for Jeff again, I know, but like, I'm sorry, he's, he is the most popular creepypasta in my whole entire life, I've never seen anyone, like, when you ever you search his name up on Google, you'll just see so many results, so many memes, so many, like, cosplays of Jeff, I, I'm also talking about Ben as well, it's just Jeff is very popular, I do not know when his creepypasta was published, but still, bro, He's the most infamous creepypasta ever that even these people voice acted for Jeff in here. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, Ben. Okay, okay, please. Okay, please, everyone keep calm down. Okay, I don't know. Toby has been quiet ever since. Look, at least he said yeah. I I'm not gonna even talk right now because I am. I can't bothered. Okay. Let's for real. Just keep looking at Kid. this. Kid. Am red. Now, for all the kids in this neighborhood, there is a small price for bus fare if you catch my drift. Liu stood up, ready to punch the lights out of- Okay, now this is still the narrating part, but Jeff does talk. My <laughs> The kid's eyes went- Okay, look, I I'm sounding like a fangirl, I know, but like, I I'm sorry for sounding so weird, but this is true. One of his friends pulled a knife on him. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I had hoped you would be more cooperative. But it seems we must do this the hard way. The kid walked up to you and took his wallet out of his pocket. Jeff got that feeling again. My life! My life! Look, okay, okay, shut your mouth up! Yeah, if you want, I could stab- <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay, okay, well, anyways, okay, Jeff said that Alistair- Okay, look, Alistair, you don't have to- Okay, look, I can handle it, okay? Are you sure, my dear? That looks like a lot of pressure, because that guy, Jeff, I suppose- he literally is holding a knife, so... Okay, look, Alistair, I'll be perfectly fine, okay, because... <laughs> Very interesting! I can't wait to take you to the Hasbun Hotel and have a conversation with you. <laughs> You're not taking her anywhere. Okay! Well, anyways, that actually came from Ben. Please, guys, please uh, stop having an argument. I'm just saying. Okay, they're talking. It's still the narrator, but Jeff will talk. And you saw the chills person. That is the person that actually voiced Jeff on this, um... Uh, 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 what is it? Is it called the nutshell video? <laughs> I do not know. Again. Now it was truly oh my. strong. A burning sensation. He stood up. Okay. But Liu gestured him to sit down. Jeff ignored him and walked up to the kid. Alright. Listen here, you little- My life! <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear it, but like, he for real just said, Bro, shut up. You are the one who literally screeched like that. You know, actually, yeah, I mean, that was right. Okay, fine. I'll literally keep my voice down. But I'm just saying, did you hear that, guys? Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I, let me just gonna do that so you guys can hear it properly. Did you just hear Jeff talk? I mean, it's just, that's not his real voice. It's, it's very funny. Like, he just sounds so chilled. All right, um. Jeff ignored okay. him and walked up to the kid. Listen here, you little punk. My life! <laughs> Okay, see, that's the Chill's voice, okay? I don't know Chill's real name, but like, yeah, he's the person who actually voiced Jeff on this. Give back my gross wallet or else. 
Randy put the wallet in his pocket. But still, that's how that's how Jeff's story goes. Nah, man, you know what? I should actually for real drew over here. I Okay, let's actually type in, when did Jeb the killer? My life! Shut up! Because I for real have a literal plush of my life. Okay! I have a, no, it's real, I do have a plush of Jeb. It's like right in my, do you see that, Ben? Okay, 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 please! Like, imagine if people actually for real made a plushie of Ben. Ben is so popular by now, but no one really makes any, I mean, they make like these, um, shirts, these merchandises for Ben, but there's like seriously no plushie of him. If there was one... I would have got that for my birthday. What? Okay, anyways, shut up, bro. Anyways, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, um, when did Jeb the Killer, um, cause I need to know, um, come out. Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Oh my god, that's the first thing that was out there, um, on the top list. Okay, there we go. Um, anyways, let me just see. I'm gonna go over here. Um, let's see. 14 August 2008. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's how Jeff is so popular. My. Okay, well, anyways, imagine. I thought, no. Oh my god, no, okay, so basically I just realized something. Okay, I am just gonna pause the video, it doesn't mean I'm gonna cut it, I'm just gonna pause it. So, like, um, yeah, I'm just gonna pause the video over here, so, like, yeah, I'll just be right back, guys, okay, don't worry. Okay, so, basically, you know what, I feel like just gonna cut the video right now. Wow, thanks god. Look, okay, and I thought you were gonna say for real. I don't know why you're being so quiet. Look, I was gonna say that, but nah, man. Look at this, 14th of August in 2008. Oh my god, look, look believe it or not. My life. Okay, look, so basically, you know how Ben's story was literally originated in, like... No, his thing got published in 2010. That was the year I was born, bro, alright? But 14 August 2008, that was, like, a long time ago, alright? Um, oh, Censor. Okay, that's the creator of Jeff. Um, Censor's earliest known internet per scene was 14 August 2008, where he made a new grounds account called Killer Jeff. My life! Okay, where he acted as if he were Jeff. What? Uh, okay, um, I do not know what that means, but alright. The original Jeff the Killer video was uploaded on three... My life! Okay, well, that, that's the month I was born, but not really. Uh, the day I was born was on the 9th, not the 3rd, but okay. On 3 November 2008. My... My life, I, I can't be bothered anymore. Okay, that is the thing that I was about to say, bro. But, um... I do not know, that's what I mean, okay? I don't know. But this video is very funny. I remember watching this a long time ago. It was very amazing. Um, but like, I'm not gonna react to it again because who knows when my video is gonna get copyrighted or not. My life, this video has to be the most craziest video I've ever seen in my whole life. The fact, everyone, you just insulted literally two people over here, which is William and, yeah, and Muzan. Yeah. You literally, yeah, cuz, those are the most trashiest characters ever, just saying. Yeah. You know what? You'll never hear me talk. You will never hear me talk. The fact. Look, okay, no. Muzan, no Muzan. I mean, Alistair did never say that, bro. Oh my god, you know what should we actually haven't done? What are you? Okay. Look, I, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I like this in my like list. So, like, yeah, I'm just gonna type in Alistair. So, of course, if you guys wanna know, of course, if you guys have watched Hasbun Hotel, you will know. Um, Alistair song, no, Alistair has been hotel, no, voices, so, uh, this is not gonna be that long, I am just gonna, okay, there we go, um, all scenes with Alistair, my, shut your mouth up, okay, um, Alistair lesbian, okay, well, um, yeah, that's a song, that's a song's name, so, like, yeah, in, <laughs> let's actually for real see this, oh my, you know what, sorry about the volume, sorry, I'll just, there, there we go, um, and I thought you said you're gonna cut the video. Look, I will. I, I look. I am just gonna look into this, and then I'll. What is this? I'm sorry. What is this? Okay. No, actually, I haven't looked at this before. No, this is like probably a Haluva boss or something. A different one. I do not. What am I seeing? I swear. Does he? Why isn't he? My life, did he, did he just, okay, he was about, he was literally about to say hello, but then Charlie, okay, not Charlie, Emily, but then Charlie Morningstar closed the door on him. Hello. Oh. May I speak now? You may. Oh, it's a pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart, quite a pleasure. Okay. 
I, I can't. Okay, you know what? I am just gonna cut the video. For real? Okay, you know what? For real. I do not know why. I feel like this video is too long. Not too long. I enjoyed this, bro. You know what? After I post this on YouTube, I'm gonna be looking at this because, sorry. It's just, I don't know. This is the most chaotic I've ever seen anyone be. Literally insult. I mean, did it not? Like, for real, just insulted William's voice. You know what should we actually do? Nah. Nah. Look, I'm not gonna do it now. But, like, maybe in my next video, if I, if something... Um, interesting happens. I'll, I'll update you guys and saying what dreams I had or something. But like, nah, for real. We, I searched of Muzan's voice. Nothing came up. It just came up with him, just with the my life. Okay. So basically, yeah, that's just a, no way. That's that's meant to be. Okay. I don't know. That's probably a long time ago because Alistair's voice has evolved from this. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on a picture. You know what, my life, I can't, I am gonna have four real nightmares after this. Okay, just, I am just gonna cut the video over here, so I'll probably see you guys in my next video, next weekend, I don't know, but like, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, bye. Yeah, bye, everyone, hope you're doing good, or bye, yeah, bye.